today. It's Raymond Burr's birthday, and you're on the iron side of the courtroom with Tonight Live. Sitting in the back of the big van with Stubbsy tonight, giving us the good oil, midnight oils, Rob Hurst and Bones Hillman. Australian tour, they've just started, they've played mm. Brisbane and uh, Newcastle. You've got to go and see them when they hit Melbourne, they're fantastic. I will endeavour to do so. Uh, we'll be chatting to the guys once they've come off uh, stage and had a quick drink. What? 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 Plenty and rest. Welcome back. This is Tonight Live. Well, they've just... Uh, sorry, the band got a bit carried away. They're all excited. Uh, they've just embarked on their first Australian tour since 1990. And tonight, fresh off the stage in Newcastle, please welcome Midnight Oils, Rob Hurst and Bones Hillman, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Unbelievable. Hello, Richard. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen around Australia, would you just check the size of the arms on Bones? The, no, Bones. Bones. The man has been working no, no, out. No, you told me you wouldn't do this backstage. <laughs> Guys, welcome along to the show. And uh, Bones, forget it. You're doing the schoolboy thing of pushing the arms up. Don't worry about it, mate. No, mate, it's because they wanted me. They didn't want to see the microphone lead. So. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it now. He was, he was working out on top of the, uh, the building when we were making the record. It made no, absolutely no difference whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're a healthier nice person guy. for it, Bones. Hey guys, how was the show tonight? That's the first question. You've just come off stage. How was it in Newcastle? Real good. Five or six thousand raging steel worker type people. And it's always been a great town for us in Newcastle. Yeah. And, and just great. Just great. All the earthquake people were here. Well, that's right. Of course, you, you played the big gig for the earthquake benefit and stuff. Uh, and Newcastle is a special town for the oils, isn't it? Yeah, we used to come up here and play this, this seedy dive called the Ambassador Nightclub. And the manager kept on saying, if you come up every Saturday night, every Saturday night, finally, You'd get Newcastle, and Newcastle people would never let you go, and that's true. That's great. Now, uh, you've started this, uh, this tour, as I said in the intro, first one since 1990. You're touring in front of a, a home crowd. Is, the, is that a force for good or a force for evil? You know, is, there, <laughs> is, it, uh, is it like, oh, great, uh, we've got friends in the audience, or is it like, oh, they've got real expectations? I think it's a bit of both, actually. In fact, we know, we know most of the audience after all these years. Yeah. It's about 5,000 friends out there. It's great. So do, do you guys get nervous before the start of this tour? Or did you get nervous? Uh, your dick gets really small. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Bones, is that an unusual thing for you? <laughs> yeah. Because you know yeah, what no, they say about bass players. You can't take him anywhere. I hope there was a delay on that. Yeah, no, no worries, mate. I think we can edit that out in the mix. <laughs> Sorry. No one bothered to tell them. We'll just keep rolling. The, um... <laughs> hey, listen, people, uh, people who haven't seen the band before are often surprised at what the oils are like live, I think, that, uh, that people seem to forget that with everything that's written about Midnight Oils, that you really deliver for fans in a live situation. Yeah. Are, are you... Um, I'm not sorry, but uh, <laughs> does it worry you that that's not stressed much when uh, people are writing about the band? Oh, I think the people that actually come and see the shows know about it, and they've always been the hardcore base, you know, the fans, and they go right back to... 1978, 1979, and we played a couple of old songs tonight, Surfing with a Spoon and, and uh, Profiteers, and last night we played, um, in Brisbane, we played Nothing's Lost, Nothing Gained, which off the first album, yeah, right back good. in 1978. So, I was going to say, going back a long way. Yeah, well, there was a few cheers up the back, but I think they all had beards and wrinkles and stuff, you know. <laughs> now, also, oh, look, look, there's your running order. How yeah. closely do you keep to your running order? Ah, uh, well, way tonight, mate. It was a long two hours. Yeah. And uh, obviously, look, quite a bit of stuff there from the new album as well. Yeah, there's about seven or eight songs from the new album, plus a couple of real oldies, as I said, plus some diesel and blue sky stuff, and we turn it around. And Peter has this habit of actually changing the song 
sort of halfway through the set, and so you only ever tells one person. So one member starts one song, Bonesy starts another song, Martin starts another song, Jim starts another song. And by the time we get to the middle eight, we figure that the whole thing sounds like such a load of crap that we start again. That's the way the oils have always operated. And then later on you say, no, that's our unique sound. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the sound we wanted to get on the album, you know. Now, speaking of the album, it reminded me, just reading all the blurb about uh, you talking about it, it, it reminded me of Rocky II. You know, in that uh, you've gone, Apollo Creed's taken you back to the old gymnasium to get the eye of the tiger. You know, you went back to, to a sort of a, a small production room. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to build emotive language here. You went back to, you know, uh, creaky floorboards and the smell of a uh, chemical factory nearby. Uh, one of Martin's, we just backed the car out of the garage, mate, and did it in there. <laughs> Did, all jokes aside, did you deliberately uh, go, not so much down market, but uh, uh, low technology on this album to get back to what is, it, uh, what is best about Midnight Oil? Yeah, well, we tried for a few years high technology, and low technology suited us a lot better, you know, so we're a lot happier now. And you're right about those chemicals. They were, they were mixing chemicals downstairs, and sometimes the fumes would come up, and the jumbos were landing because we were, we were recording right next to Sydney Airport, and so we were being sprayed by av gas, and so... If the record sounds a bit psychedelic and off, it's just because we were completely off our faces most of the recording. <laughs> great, great. Well, I think that's good to know. I'll think of that when I'm listening to yeah. it, Earth, Sun and Moon. Now, what about, uh, I was also reading in the recording of it that you uh, were trying to do it all playing live together, all with eye contact, that sort of feel for the album. Do you think that, do you think that worked? Did that theory work? <laughs> and is it pleasant to get that close to him? That's I the other question. Or something. Uh, <laughs> the rhythm section yeah. that sleeps together, stays together, plays together. <laughs> that's oh, a, shit. That sounded like Roy and HP. I, I would like to resemble that remark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, forget it. The two of you have got to have a long talk after this one. Yeah. I hope the rest of the band are sitting around watching this, by the way, going, oh, we're never yeah. letting them do this again. Pete's blow drying his hair at the moment. <laughs> 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 who, says, who says Midnight Oil isn't funny? You know, this is the first time we've got a chance really to express ourselves and break a few icons. I know, and you've, and you've done dick jokes. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> what about? <laughs> you know, the last time I saw you was in that bar and. Uh, yeah, Mel don't talk about it. Don't talk about bones. That will, that's going back a long way. Now, what about uh, what about the twelve month break? Now you had a twelve month break off before doing the album. Uh, Rob, you were in Ghost Riders. Bones, what did you do? Mate, I went to Venice and raised racing pigeons. Yeah. And uh, I did quite well out of that. We, right. we got a few away down to Rome, but um, <laughs> I came back to Australia totally disillusioned with that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, uh, ever since I think the big money's got into that industry, they've broken the back of it. They have, you know. Yeah, yeah they've ruined it for the racing fraternity. Uh, is it hard to take a year off and then get started on an album? No, well, I, yeah, you're, you're right, actually, Richard. I didn't take a year off. I'm, I'm an addict for recording, and I got my mates around me, and we did the Ghosties project, which was real good fun. Uh, how come this thing's feeding back in my face now? Ed, Ed, look, the technical crew has let us down. No, we Richard, just, save us. We just pushed it up to 11 so you'd feel That's at home. That's right. Yeah, someone's hey, turned us on to 11. Yeah, uh, what about... Uh, We've almost got to go, but I did want to ask, uh, you went away and played around with another band sort of thing. Rob, did that, did that enable you to bring anything different back to the oils when you, when you reformed again? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, the Ghosties record was made really quickly and cheaply, and we tried to do the same, and um, it didn't work with the oils. So <laughs> <laughs> they're, too much, think... they're too much perfectionists, you know. I would just sort of put it down first and second take, and they never quite got the gist of it. So I did my best, you know. <laughs> well, you can only do what you can. Guys, thanks so much. Okay. Good luck for the tour. We're going to show the tour dates now. We're also going to play a little bit of the footage of the concert tonight a bit later Beauty. on, if that's OK. See you, mate. Uh, I can't wait to see it when it hits uh, our town. I'm really looking forward to it. Good luck with the rest of the tour, right. guys. Yeah, Would you thank Bye. Robin Bye. Bones, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, them boys. Here are the tour dates. Have a look at Midnight Oil's tour dates and go along and see the band. The Oils are sensational live. You should go and check them out if you've never seen them before. Oh, I feel like I should be wearing a hat. We're going away too. When we come back, more stuff. A bit later on, I'll show the Oils playing live too. All this and more on Tonight Live. <laughs> The time you make up your mind Whenever you do I need the drums of heaven too By the time you make up your mind And I hope you do 
Before you go off, midnight oil. This is their album, Earth, Sun and Moon, and that was them live in Newcastle. Uh, Drums of Heaven, one of their tracks on the album. Great album too. Just about time for us to go. Thank you, Naomi.